So for our first project in this series, we're just going to make a simple bolt and nut, and then we're going to put those things together. We're going to make them work with joints. So let's get started. We're going to go to on shape, and I'm going to start with create, and I'll say document. Afterwards, I could put it in a folder or just click create. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the bolt. I think I'll start with the head of the bolt. So I'm going to go to sketch. I'm going to click on that front view. Now remember, we want to kind of square that up so it, we can see it a little bit better. We can do that by pressing the in key after we click a plane or by using the view cube, right? Either one's going to get us the same result. To do a polygon, it's over here. It says inscribe. There are two different options. I'll just use inscribe for now. I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to draw that polygon. So after I click on it, if I move my mouse up or down, I can choose the different amount of sides I want to put on this polygon. I just want six. When I click again, it's going to move over to the dimension. So right now this is saying this is a 1.792. I think I'll just do 0.75 here. And I will go ahead and extrude, so I'll click the green check mark or press Shift and E. That'll get me to extrude. I'm going to use my right mouse button in orbit a little bit. And I'll click here and I'll say, you know what, let's make this just be 0.25. And I can press Enter to see a preview. If I like it, I can click the green check mark. So there's the head of the bolt. Now I'm going to go back to Sketch. I'm going to click on the face of the hexagon here. And then I'll press in on my keyboard to normalize it. And I'm going to use circle. So I'll click right there on the origin. I'm just going to draw a circle. And I think for this circle, after I click, I'm going to make it be 0.5. I'll press shift and E to get back into extrude now. The default is one inch, and I think I'll take two. That's what two looks like. And I'll press. A green check mark. Now, on shape doesn't necessarily model threads. So we're going to go ahead and put those in though so that they would show up in the drawing environment later. To do threads, we go right here to external thread. Click that in. And we can kind of set things up. So uh, choose ANSI or ISO. I'll just keep ANSI. You can choose your size, but it's going to kind of pick based on the diameter of the cylinder. Then you can choose your threads per inch. I will say add a chamfer. And then really all you've got to do is you click the bottom or the top of the cylinder. I usually click the bottom of the cylinder and you can kind of see it. It puts the thread in there. Now this doesn't show up here in the part studio, but it will show up in the design environment. So I'm going to click the green check mark and I have the bolt created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that second piece which is the nut itself. So I'm going to click sketch. And I'll click the end of the bolt here. And remember, I will I'll hit in for normal. And I'm going to you know, I'm going to use project here. So I'm going to use some geometry that I already have. And to do a project, right here is project. So I, I can press U. I'm going to project this circle here cuz that's the size of the the nut that I want. And I think I'll actually go ahead and project the polygon too. So I'll click the green check mark. Now what we should have there, because we projected, we should have the, the, the correct size of the nut. We'll go ahead and extrude now. And we'll click that. And I think we'll just make this uh, 0.5, so it's going to be a half inch. I press enter. Now something that's key here, something that's super key, we want to make sure it says new. Because if it just says add, it's going to add that to this. And it's essentially going to all be one piece. We don't want that. We need that to be new so that it'll be two separate parts. And because of the way I drew it on shape, it's pretty intuitive as well. And it said, hey, this is probably going to be a separate piece, right? So we'll go ahead and take that and we'll click the green check mark. We have those two components now. But now we're going to go down to the tabs at the bottom and we're going to go to assembly. We're going to actually put these together now. All I did previous, let me go back to the part studio tab. All I did was model the parts here and I used the bolt to create the nut by using that project geometry. So now assembly. 
I have to go to insert. And notice what the toolbar looks like now. Now we have our joints. So we have fasten, we have revolute, we have slider, planer, cylindrical, which is what we're going to use. We even have some pin slots, ball. We have all kinds of different joints. We can even get into making gears and stuff, which we'll do later. So I'm going to say insert. And it says, all right, do you want something out of the current document, which we do in this case. But for future reference, we could have other documents that we want to pull things from. We also have standard content. So Onshape has like a pretty extensive library of bolts and nuts and stuff like that already. So I'm going to use current document. I'm going to say, give me part one. I just clicked it and it'll pull it in. And I also want part two. I'm going to pull them in. So now that I've got my pieces, I'll hit the green check mark. And notice these pieces are independent of each other now. So they're, they're moving just like we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bolt and I'm going to right click on it. So here's the bolt. Notice how it kind of highlights it over here. I'm going to right click and say, let's fix that. Fix is on shapes way of saying ground. Okay, so now this is not going to move. Now we are going to take the nut here, though, and we're going to use it. I'm going to choose up here at the top. I'm going to choose cylindrical. So choose cylindrical. And down here, I'm going to click. I just kind of want to get that face, so that mate point there. And then the mate point here. And now I can go ahead and kind of hit play here. And I can see the motion which is exactly what we want it to do. 